buddy. Hello. You still haven't eaten lunch. Hi guys. Today I'm going to be comparing my 2012 self with my 2018 self. Um, it, a lot has changed over the six years, the past six years. Um, I never realized how much has changed. I mean, myself alone as far as different events that have led me to be where I am today and to become the person that I am today as well. Um, for starters, I was, I was a sophomore in 2012. I was, I turned 16 and I was a lot pudgier. I was, I had a lot more baby fat all over my face and I was looking at pictures to find a comparison for you guys um, later on in the video and uh, to put on Instagram and, and Twitter and stuff and wow <laughs> I was a little pudgy ball of sass is what it was but yeah I was 16 in 2012 so I was in color guard it was the first year I joined my high school's marching band it was color guard or that's the year I found out that we actually had one because being a dumb sophomore like I was I was like oh I didn't know we had that we did we do. It was awesome. It was great. So that was my first year. It was also, my sophomore year was also my first year in the technical school that's in um, the area that I went to school. It is actually right next door. And the three high schools around the area came, they all came in to that tech center. Um, I, it was my first year. I was, I took a three-year program. It was my first year. I was the only girl. And to this day, to my knowledge, I'm still the only girl to graduate the diesel technology class. So I did turn 16 in 2012. I also went for my 16th birthday. Instead of having a big party, I wasn't really into that. I asked my folks if they could take me to see a monster truck rally. And they did. And I did. And it was great. I went to, I went to Monster Jam at the Hampton Coliseum in Newport News, Hampton, Virginia. That area. 2013, I was a junior in high school. A lot of different things happened. I became not a lot of different things happened. A couple things happened. Um, I became captain of, I was still considered a rookie at the time, but I did become captain of my color guard. Um, we actually went to states that year. We, we placed out of like 24 people there, we like 24 schools, we placed six and it was our highest score yet. Like in the history of my high school, it was the highest marching band score for like God knows how many years. It was a long time. So anyway, we played six. We were all super happy. Um, 2014, I turned 18. I graduated high school. I got my truck. That was really cool. I actually got that the night before my birthday. Um, my dad's manager was getting rid of a truck, and he didn't he didn't want to sell it for money. He just didn't need it anymore. So I got a hell of a good deal. I paid um, $500 cash out of my pocket. To his manager and I pretty much bought that the night before my birthday so it was like I, got, I woke up on my birthday and I went out and I like detailed my car my truck and I cleaned it and everything oh also in 2014 I also um, started my current job and I've been there for three going on four years I've been at the jewelry store for four going on four years 2015 and 16 however nothing and I was thinking about this earlier, too, before I started filming. I was like, nothing really jumped out at me as, um, you know, super crazy. So, I mean, I, those were the years I was trying to find myself. I was stressing over, oh, my God, do I need to go to college? Do I need, you know, to do this? How am I going to... I was stressing myself out too much. And then in 2017 hit, I had already realized and I had already um, signed up for class at a bartending school in Newport News, Virginia, where I had lived with um, my grandparents for a couple weeks. It was just a couple week program, um, but it was a bartending program. I haven't done anything yet with it, but I plan to. <laughs> I turned 21 and my friend took me out because I didn't have any plans. And he was like, you know what? When you're 21, I'm gonna go get you your first drink. You're gonna come with me. It's gonna be great. He's like, I will drive, I will pay, everything. It was so nice, it made me so happy. I was like, ah, that's great. So in 2017, I turned 21. I went to bartending school. I started uploading to my YouTube channel. I actually made my YouTube channel, 
it was like 2013 or something, just so I could start liking, it was a long time ago, just so I could subscribe to people and like their videos, but I recently started uploading in 2017, so that's three things. Um, I also got Sam, which is my car, I named him Sam, the truck, I just named the truck, that's, that's what his name was, but Sam, his name is Sam, because he is a Sam to me. I actually got him a week after my birthday. Um, it wasn't a present, I just, I was like, the truck was starting to become unreliable, it was breaking down, it was an older truck, but it was my truck, was the thing. It, it was gonna become, um, a money pit. I, it was, it was too much, so I sold it, I traded it out, um, and now I currently have Sam. And then also, last year, we got Buddy. It was, when was it? Christmas was on Sunday, we got him Friday, it was the 23rd of December, when we got Buddy. We found him, actually Leslie and Dad found him outside the workplace, and now he is ours, and he's on my bed right now, sleeping, because he's so cute. And we've come to 2018. 2018 is the year I'm, so far I've been more positive, and I will, it, it's March already. I'm, I'm going to stay more positive throughout the year. I've come to hard patches. I took a break earlier in the year, um, it is early in the year, what am I talking about, a uh, month ago-ish, maybe? I took a break, but, but yeah, 2018 is my year of positivity, and also if you are on YouTube, and if you're just out in general, I feel like 2018 is everyone's positive year. I feel like it's everyone's year, this is the year, everyone's going to be positive, everything is going to not be great, but get better. Everything is going to get better this year, and so far things have just been getting better and better. I went to my first concert this year. I turned 22 this year. I feel like I'm not a child anymore. When you're 22, yeah, you can go out and party and drink, but I still felt kind of like a child. This video, I just pretty much wanted to tell you guys that I have changed, and I did change a lot. And just, and, and looking back on it, really, I've, I've seen how much I've grown as a person how much I've become who I am today, I mean physically, mentally, and emotionally, I've changed so drastically over the past six years. And I guess I didn't really think about it that way. I always, because you look at yourself in the mirror every day, and you see the same old you. But you change so much each and every day that when you look in the mirror, you see those changes, but you're accustomed to it because you are yourself, and you see yourself every day kind of confusing. Hopefully you guys get what I'm saying. But going back, and a lot of people are doing this, they're posting pictures of how they were in 2012 and how they are now in 2018. A lot's changed. So much has changed. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Um, this has been Charlotte's Little Bit of Everything, and until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye!